Hey guys, hope you all are good, doing good. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Excel video. Few people asked me to explain index match function. It's a very powerful function. I wanted to do that. I'll show you a basic example today and maybe in the future we'll do a more complicated case of index match. Okay. Here I have some simple data. I have name of the country as you see and the year, right? And say this is the sales in that particular country for an e-commerce company, something like that in say millions of dollars or something okay for india in 2008 it was 100 for india in 2009 it was 150 and so on for england for example in 2010 it was 170 and then i've placed like drop downs here to change the country and the years i've shown this concept called data validation in previous video do check them out so now i want in this particular cell like to find the value from this matrix right this is basically four uh, columns plus four rows right i want to find a particular value whenever i change these values right pretty similar to sum if what we did with a formula right here we don't want to do sum or count we just want to see the value for example england 2009 what is value of england in 2009 160 that value has to come in this cell how do we get to that point that is what we are going to see it's going to be a three-step process okay first step I'll write it here so matching the year so basically in this matrix we want to find in which column that particular year is coming okay that is step number one so I can say the formula goes like this basically you say is equal to match okay I want to search for the year 2009 so you select that and look up array so I want to search it in these four columns and comma zero to find an exact match okay i get two right so basically in these four columns 2009 comes in the second column that's what this means okay that is step number one step number two is matching the country right to match the country it's the same formula just a bit different i can say match up i want to match this country look up array i want to match it in these four rows to see which row that value comes comma zero as we want an exact match Again, we get the value 2 because in these four rows, England occurs in row number 2. So, suppose I change this value to say Pakistan, you see this becomes 4 because in these four rows, Pakistan is located in row number 4. Similarly, if I change this value to say 2008, now the year changes to column 1 because in these four columns, 2008 is column 1, 2009 is column 2 and so on. So, by doing these two operations, we found we are able to match the year and the country based on whatever data is here right in this cell and this cell and then the final step is to do index match okay so in this step what we will do is you will say is equal to okay you will say index of open first step is basically the array so the array where we want to search is this this full data forget the headers just select the data and then the row number okay row number is basically the country right so you select this value and then the column number as you see column number is the year this value right now when i close i get 140 okay if i just copy this formula right I, let me copy this formula and put it here in this cell i get 140 right let's see pakistan 2008 value pakistan 2008 it's 140 so we got the value right so now if I change this to India, it is 100, right? India for 2008 is 100 as you see here. India for say 2010, it's 190 because as you see, India 2010 is 190, okay. So to recap, to find a value like this in a matrix based on, you know, two conditions, we try to match both those values. First, we match the year using a normal match. Then we try to match the country again using a match so this was for finding which column it is in this was finding which row it is in and then this last formula was to locate it in a array of values in our case the array of values was this set okay so we say index of array comma then these two values the row number and the column number which are these two cells right that way we will get the final answer i hope you enjoyed the video i'll see you again in another video